Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. In the last episode I finally got the Traps the Hydrant drop from the Ad Adamentos <clears throat> at the uh, Eden Leviathan Plaza area. So on the last episode I was explaining um, that we can kill the Adamentos and if you have the uh, What's it called? Um, if you have the Connoisseur catalog, it will increase the odds of obtaining rare items after battle. So make sure you equip that. If you don't know how to get the Connoisseur catalog, check back on the last episode and I cover it in detail. And uh, the Adamentos that is to the left here in Eden at the Leviathan Plaza area. If you keep killing him over and over with Vanille's death spell, then he has a rare drop of a Traps of Hydra. So if you want to know the strategy on how to kill the Adamentos um, early in the game with Vanille's death spell, you can check back on the last episode. I cover that in detail as well. Or that one's like two or three episodes back. But um, yeah, so... I finally got him to drop a trap to Hydrin. It took me like four hours. I want to say I killed him like 35 or 40 times and I didn't get nothing. I got a lot of pl uh, platinum ingots. I got like 12 platinum ingots, but um, I didn't get any traps to Hydrins and I was about to give up and then I was like, no, I got to keep going. So I kept pushing through and four hours later, I finally got the first traps to Hydrin to drop. So if you guys don't know what the Traps of Hydrant is, it's the most expensive item you can buy in the game. And it's the ultimate upgrade crystal for your weapons. Um, to transform them into the ultimate and Omega weapons, you need one Traps of Hydrant. You can buy them at the store for 2 million gil. But once you get one of them for free, they can be dropped off the Adamentos at Eden at the Leviathan Plaza area. Once you finally get one to drop, um, you can duplicate them or you can make one traps of hydrin turn into three with a little bit of extra gill and upgrading all right so uh, the last tip i'll give you guys make sure you have that connoisseur catalog um because that increases the chances of getting the traps of hydrin drop and uh yeah you'll get you'll also get a bunch of platinum ingots along the way you could sell each platinum ingot for 150,000 gil. All right, so once you've got one traps of hydrant, I'm going to show you guys how to take that one and turn it into three. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need 1,700,000 gil or 1,500,000, anywhere between 1,500,000 gil to 1,700,000 gil. And you can get a uh, gil like that from uh killing the Adamentos for its platinum ingots or you can use the other strategy that I noted in the previous episode with the sacrifices that can be found in Eden Hall. They're also the fastest um, most consistent way to make gill. So once you have one Traps of Hydrin and you have uh, 1,500,000 gill, let me quickly show you what you need. So first of all I'm going to sell all the components that I got from uh, farming the Adamentos here. As you can see, I got 13 plat uh, platinum ingots. I'm gonna sell all 13 for 1,950,000 gil. Sell this gold nugget, gold dust. <clears throat> There's the traps, the hydrant. Also, you're gonna need some scarletite. You can get the scarletite upgrade crystal from um, defeating the sacrifices. Again, you'll make gil and you'll make a scarletite. Um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and sell the plush chocobo and the incentive chips that I picked up as well as the credit chips. And also the perfume. You can get perfume from killing the sacrifices. That's how you get uh, your source of gill from the sacrifices. You get perfume as well as scarletites. 
all right so that looks like everything so from my total grinding for gill so far i got two million six hundred and sixty four thousand gill all right so now i'm about to show you guys how to turn one traps of hydrant into three now <clears throat> whenever you upgrade um the any weapons into their ultimate form they can be dissembled dismantled whenever they're fully upgraded as far as they can go and not all of them but several of them when dismantled when fully upgraded will dismantle into three traps of hydrants <clears throat> so you're going to need one traps of hydrant to get whichever weapon you're going to upgrade into its ultimate form then once you upgrade it fully in its ultimate form you can dismantle it and you'll get three traps of hydrants so you might be thinking, why would you want to dismantle a fully upgraded weapon that you've worked so hard to upgrade? Well, it's simple. Fully upgrading an ultimate weapon, um, once you have one Traps of Hydrin, only costs about 2 million, maybe a little bit more than 2 million gil. And three Traps of Hydrins cost 6 million gil. So if you want to save yourself a lot of gil grinding, I would just go ahead and dismantle the fully upgraded ultimate weapon. That way you get three traps of hydrants and it'll save you grinding for six million gil because to fully upgrade the weapon again all you're going to need is two million so it saves you a total of four million gil and a lot of um time for gil grinding all right so enough about that let's talk about what we need to do now there are several ultimate weapons that can be dismantled into three traps of hydrants not all ultimate weapons will uh, dismantle into three traps of hydrants. Only a certain amount or a select few will. So the cheapest one, we're going to talk about the cheapest weapon we can fully upgrade to its ultimate form and then dismantle for three traps of hydrants. So the cheapest weapon you could possibly upgrade and dismantle for three traps of hydrant is the Punisher weapon for Fang. So you should have it. If you don't have it, we've only got one right now and we found it in a treasure ball. <clears throat> it's the Punisher. So if you didn't pick this up out of a treasure ball, then you won't be able to do this trick right now. You can use a different ultimate weapon, but I would highly suggest to wait because um, this is the cheapest weapon you could use. So once we beat the Prowl Clod, which were which is where we were at in Eden Hall remember I told you guys there was a boss there not to advance any further once we beat the prowl clod the shops will update again and whenever the shots update after you beat the prowl clod boss um, you can buy the Punisher in a store for thirty two thousand dollars or thirty three thousand dollars all right so if you don't have the Punisher if you didn't find it in the treasure ball don't worry You'll be able to buy it from a shop very soon, and I'll let you guys know when you can buy it. So you're just going to want to refer, uh, keep a tag on, on this episode so that once you can buy it in a shop, you can come back and watch this, and you can see step-by-step step how to upgrade it so that you can dismantle it for three traps of hydrants. Alright, so once you have the Punisher, and you have one traps of hydrant and 1,700,000 gil, this is what you do to get three traps of hydrants and save you four million gil. First of all, let's talk about the components. So let's go shopping. The first thing you're gonna need is go to Creature Comforts and buy 99 Sturdy Bones and 99 Barbed Tails. Once you have 99 Sturdy Bones and 99 bar Barbed Tails, Back out and go to Lenora's Garage. Alright, you're going to need a total of 25 superconductors. So go ahead and buy 25 superconductors. <clears throat> Next up, go to R&D Depot. Now you're going to need a total of four particle accelerators. Make sure you buy four particle accelerators, but you might already have a bunch of particle accelerators already. 
If you do, it'll save you 40,000 gil, but you need at least four particle accelerators. Now let's talk about what's going to cost some money. <clears throat> Go to R&D Depot, and we're going to need a total of 27 ultra compact reactors. This is why I said you need about 1,500,000 gil to 1,700,000 gil. Go ahead and buy 27 ultra compact reactors. Alright, once you have 27 ultra compact reactors, the last things you're going to need is the upgrade crystals. So go to the mother load. You're going to need at least one Scarletite, but you should have a couple of these because they can be dropped by the sacrificed enemies at Eden Hall. And they can be dropped really easy because they got a very high drop rate. So if you don't have any, I suggest to farm them from the sacrifices. You can get them really, really easy. Especially if you have the collector's catalog equipped while fighting them. So I have 13, but you're going to need at least one Scarletite. And finally... You're going to need at least one Traps of Hydrin. But you should already have that if you've been farming the Adamantos long enough. If you didn't, if you um, couldn't get the Adamantos to drop the Traps of Hydrin, I suggest to keep trying because eventually he will drop it. Like I said, it took me four hours for him to drop one. But it's better to um, grind and take four hours for him to drop one then to go out and buy it for two million because you're going to spend four hours getting two million gil so eventually the adamantos is bound to drop that traps of hydrogen by the time meanwhile you're stacking up gil getting platinum ingots and if you were to go out and buy it for two million then you would you would have to spend even more time grinding for gil so you might as well just stick it out until the adamantos drops it it might take four hours it might take six hours it might take 30 minutes for me, it took four hours. Alright, so once you have all your uh, necessary components, again, you need 25 superconductors, four particle accelerators, 27 ultra compact reactors, one scarletite, and one traps of hydrogen. And you need the Punisher weapon for fame. Alright, so once you've got everything you need, let's go ahead and you need 99 sturdy bones and 99 barbed tails. 99 sturdy bones and 99 barbed tails. Once you've got all the necessary components, let's get down to business. Go to upgrade and choose weapons and then find the punisher. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do... <clears throat> Go ahead and add 36 sturdy bones to the Punisher. This will get you the times 3 multiplier, times 3 experience multiplier you need. Once you got that, Go ahead and add 2 superconductors. So once you use 36 sturdy bones, add two superconductors. This will bring the Punisher to level three. Once you've done that, go ahead and add 12 more sturdy bones. <clears throat> this will bring the experience multiplier back up to times three. Your next step is going to be add four particle accelerators. This will max out the Punisher with a star at its max level. Once you have the Punisher at max level, go ahead and use a Scarletite upgrade crystal. And this will transform the Punisher into the Bane Scissor Spear. Once you have the Bane Scissor Spear, add 36 more sturdy bones. 
This will give you the times three bonus multiplier back. Once you have a times three multiplier, use all 23 superconductors. This will increase the uh, Bane Scissor Spear to level 20. Once you've done that, add 36 barbed tails. This will get you another times 3 bonus multiplier. <clears throat> Once you've done that, Add two ultra compact reactors. So once you have the times three multiplier back, add two ultra compact reactors. This will max out the Bane Scissor Spear at its maximum level, indicated by a star. <clears throat> once you have the Bane Scissor Spear at its max level and it has a star next to it, use the Traps of Hydrin to transform it into its ultimate form. This will modify the Bane Scissor Spear into the Kane's Lance. Once you add the Kane's Lance ultimate weapon, <clears throat> go ahead and use 36 more barbed tails. So we're adding 36 more barbed, barbed tails to Kane's Lance. This will get you the times three experience multiplier. Once you've got the times three experience multiplier, use all 25 ultra compact reactors. This will add 1,500,000 experience to the Kane's Lance. Make sure you have the times three multiplier. Go ahead and add 25 ultra compact reactors with a times three multiplier to Kane's Lance. This will fully upgrade Kane's Lance to its maximum level. So now you should have Kane's Lance with a star next to it. All right, once you have Kane's Lance fully upgraded to its max level, Back out of the upgrade screen and go to dismantle. Choose weapons and find Kane's Lance. As long as you have Kane's Lance fully upgraded with a star next to it, choose to dismantle it. <clears throat> as you can see, you'll obtain 71 spike horns, 60 mats of black mycelium, 36 moon blossom seeds. 10 tiers of woe, and 3 traps of hydrants. So we now turn 1 traps of hydrant into 3. And that will save you $4 million. 4 million gil. Alright, so we're not done yet. Go ahead and go to shop and then go to any store and choose to sell then go to your components and sell the 36 moon blossom seeds that you got from dismantling Kane's Lance this will give you 216,000 gil back And you can see we have our three traps of hydrants now. Then go ahead and sell the 60 black mycelium. This will give you 40,500. This will give you 40,500 gil back. Finally, if you want, you can sell the 73 spined horns. Alright, so now you turned one traps of hydrant into three. 
and it only costs one million gil after you sell the components back that the Kane's uh, Lance dismantled from you will have only lost about one million gil this is the cheapest way in the game to duplicate the traps the hydrants alright so we're gonna wanna do this twice so that we get a total of six traps of hydrants. Now you know we turn one into three. Now we're gonna try to turn two into six. So you need to do this a total of two times. You can do it as many times as you want to get as many traps of hydrants as you want. But we're gonna do it twice. So we're gonna have a total of six traps of hydrants. Again, you're going to need 1,500,000 more gill in order to... You're going to need 1,700,000 gill before you leave this spot. So we're still here. We're still right next to the Adamentos. Make sure you have 1,700,000 gill before we leave because we're going to need to duplicate the traps of hydrants one more time so that we can <clears throat> get a total of six traps of hydrants now we aren't going to be able to do it again just yet because the punisher we only had one punisher which we found in the treasure ball and we can't buy the punisher just yet in the shops because it's not there however whenever we go back and we beat the proud clod in eden hall which is where i left off in the walkthrough after we beat that boss, the shops are going to be updated and we'll be able to buy the Punisher for 33,000 gil. And then we can duplicate the Traps of Hydrants again for a total of 6. After we duplicate the Traps of Hydrants again and get a total of 6, we need to stack up more money. We're going to need like 4 million gil. And then we're going to fully upgrade our main battle members weapons into their ultimate forms so again <sighs> we're gonna need to duplicate the traps of hydrants one more time for a total of six and then we need to save up about four million to five million gil and we're gonna upgrade our main battle members weapons to their ultimate form fully upgraded Finally, after we do that, we can continue on and beat the game. Alright, so that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. I hope this was useful. And if you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section. And I'll answer to the best of my ability as soon as I can. If you have any questions about how I got my weapons or accessories or how to get the traps of hydrant to drop from the Adamentos. You can refer back to the previous episodes in this walkthrough. I explain everything in detail. In order to use the Adamentos to get the traps of hydrant, you need to at least have Vanille <clears throat> learn her death spell, which can be found under her Sabotar role. You're gonna want one pair of sprint shoes to make it easier so she has auto haste. And you're going to want to wear the Condosaur catalog, which increases the rare drop rate from enemies. If you want to know how to make the Condosaur, it can be upgraded from the Collector's catalog with an Mnar crystal. Again, if you have any questions about that, refer to the previous episodes. I cover it all in detail. How to get the Condosaur catalog, how to get um, your party set up for the fight with uh, Adamentos and the uh, strategy in battle with the Adamentos. Everything's covered in detail. Also, I would highly suggest to look back and check out the um, gill grinding strategy with the sacrifices that can be found in Eden Hall. That's an excellent source of gill. And yeah, so that's gonna complete this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. I'll see you guys next time after I've got 1,700,000 gil. 
and again make sure you get at least 1,700,000 gil you can get more if you want the more the better but you're going to need a bare minimum of 1,700,000 gil before continuing on so take the time to kill the adamentos so that um you can get that much gill if you want you can kill the sacrifices if the adamentos is too hard and you can't beat them go ahead and kill the sacrifices in Eden Hall it's much easier and they give you the same amount of gill they actually give you more gill but if you're really lucky with the adamentos the adamentos will give you more gill but consistency if you want consistent gill the sacrifices um, will definitely help you out so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit more gill I'm gonna try and get about four or five more platinum ingots and then I'm gonna continue with the next episode we're gonna head back to Eden Hall and we're gonna take out Proud Claude which is the boss that um, is right in front where I left off on the walkthrough after we take out Proud Claude the um, boss the shops will update so that we can buy the Punisher weapon and we're gonna go ahead and buy another one of them and duplicate the traps of hydrants one more time so that we have six. And then we're gonna do some more gill grinding so that we can upgrade our main character's weapons to their ultimate form and fully upgrade their ultimate form weapons. And then we're gonna continue into Orphan's Cradle to beat the final boss of the game. All right, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 13.